Intuitively, most people think when they have fatigue that probably resting is the best idea. In fact, the literature says to us that being active is exactly what you need to do and that resting too much is probably exactly what you do not need to do. Uh, recently, I was doing a presentation here at MASK where I summarized the data from 113 randomized clinical trials that have been conducted by investigators across the world. And those data from those trials actually tell us that both aerobic exercise, so things like walking, cycling, swimming, and anaerobic exercise, so things like resistance bands and weight training, either alone or in combination help with a patient's fatigue. And in fact, the data suggests that exercise interventions actually produce larger improvements in fatigue and are more significant improvements than any pharmaceuticals we have to offer. Depending on where you live, you may hear about the uh, ACSM exercise guidelines for cancer patients or the Australian guidelines for cancer patients and survivors. These typically recommend that patients try to achieve about 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity aerobic activity or two to three days of weight training at a moderate intensity using your major muscle groups. You may also hear uh, frequently in major newspapers or other venues about the 10,000 step rule. These are guidelines. Guidelines are not an exercise prescription. Guidelines are a global goal that we know if we can achieve will influence public health at large. A prescription is what we give an individual. So when a cancer patient presents and says to their healthcare team, I have severe fatigue and you know, I'd like to do something for that and I'm interested in exercise, then we give them an individualized prescription. And that is specifically tailored on what the patient's current level of physical activity is, what their current level of fitness is, the fatigue goal that we are interested in uh, moving. So is it mental fatigue, physical fatigue, or overall fatigue? And then we will make a specific prescription to uh, address that fatigue. We see in the data that medication adherence is often frequently low, sometimes in the neighborhood of 50%. So we know that even though we think it's easier to take a pill, patients don't necessarily prescribe to pharmaceutical prescriptions any better than they do to many behavioral prescriptions. What's key about adherence to an exercise intervention is that the prescription be tailored to appropriately meet the patient's goals. So I'll give you an example related to fatigue. If a patient is really suffering from mental fatigue or cognitive impairment, which is often linked with mental fatigue, and their primary goal is to reduce that mental fatigue, then I do not need to prescribe them exercise at a level to improve physical function or other types of fatigue, such as physical fatigue. I can get an improvement in mental fatigue with as little as 10 minutes a day of activity. So, if the goal is mental fatigue and I prescribe 10 minutes, it's much easier for that patient to adhere to, especially when they're sick, they don't feel well, they're undergoing chemotherapy and radiation, versus if I were to say to them, you need to do 30 minutes a day of exercise, when in fact they don't. So a key is to balance that in terms of the prescription. That will help with adherence. Make sure you target the cancer-specific outcome they're interested in. And also, uh, we we promote many different modes of activity. So choosing a mode, whether it's walking, yoga, swimming, other kinds of things that the patient likes and is interested in and can easily access is important. The take home message to the oncologist are it's really important to discuss exercise with your patients. Um, make sure that they know what their toxicities and side effects are that exercise might help with. I know they're super busy in the clinic and they really should focus on treating the disease. So the number one thing they can do is become really aware of the knowledgeable and credible exercise professionals in their community and make an excellent referral just like they would for any other medical specialty need for their patients.